Alright, so it's been a while since I've done a, a comic book review, but I thought I'd uh, finally change that with Superman For All Seasons. So, Superman For All Seasons is a comic by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. And when you get those two together, you already know that's gold. However, I will say that it does suck that we do know that Jeff Loeb is a racist piece of garbage now. But we've always kind of consented that he may have been a piece of garbage before, but... Yeah. So this is another Superman Origins retelling, which, by the way, I'm tired of Superman of everyone trying to tell the definitive Superman origin. I'm just sick of it. Like, can we do a, like a Superman story that's a definitive Superman story without it being his origin or his death? Um, because really, when you think of like the best Superman comics, it's always oh, it's a retelling of his of his origin. It's never been like a super important story arc or something like that. Nope, it's always been either an origin or his death or coming back from his death. That's it. Um, having said all that, though, get this book. You know, get go get this book if you're a Superman fan. I'm gonna say that right out the gate because. Wow, it is really good. Um, like I said, it is Jeff. Lo it is Tim Sale and Jeff Loeb back together. Of course, you know you've seen them before in like, um, you know, Batman: Long Halloween, Dark Victory, Haunted Nights, uh, the the Marvel colored series with uh, Hulk Gray, Spider Man Blue, Daredevil Yellow, and Captain America White. Whenever that gets done. And this is no different. It's really cool. The only one of the Jeff Loeb... This is now, like, one of the last few Jeff Loeb tin sale books I haven't read yet. The only ones I haven't read yet are Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Gray, and Catwoman Win in Rome. And then I'll probably have all the Jeff Loeb tin sale books. But, yeah, this is a story of Superman's origin where it's Superman, it's told through the length of a year. Like, it's basically his year one, but it's told through different seasons. Where the start of it is spring, and Superman is about to, it, Clark is about to graduate from um, to graduate from you know, small, Smallville High, and his powers are starting to develop at a faster rate, and it's each one is told through a different perspective from people. Like, the first one is told through the perspective of Jonathan Kent. The next is Lois Lane. Following that is Luthor. You know, so on and so forth. And what I like is that how they portray Superman is like this godlike being, but he's really more of afraid of himself and what he could do. It's not like with Man of Steel where it's like, oh, I'm all powerful, and, and, and John's like, you shouldn't tell anybody about you because you're, you know, you're different and people don't like different. It's more like they, like, John basically says, yeah, I knew Clark was meant for more than just being a farmhand. The world needed him more than I did. Um, there's also a tornado in here, and I can't, again, it does that whole tornado scene a lot better than in, um, in, a. Uh, Man of Steel. In fact, this whole this whole thing is better than Man of Steel. Like this is what Man of Steel should have been. But yeah, it is it is neat of seeing like the first one is spring, and then we follow that with summer with Lois Lane show you know seeing Superman and all you know uh, and how he's been protecting Metropolis. And then I won't spoil if you haven't read this comic. I won't spoil Luther uh, Luthor's whole plan for Clark in um, in his story. But I will say that it is, it's, it's a neat kind of like so Luthor way of how he goes about trying to stop Superman. And even though this really tries to invoke a lot of like golden age, and that's what I really like is that it feels like a, like a golden age, um, sorry, sorry about that, um, a golden age like Superman story. It still has like some very like creepy elements to it, but it's not like overdone. It's not like an overdone like creepiness factor to it. It feels like mm, okay, now cuz Loeb knows where to put like the creepiness factor in there and then pull it back and be like, "Hey, you're reading like a Golden Age Superman comic, but a more updated Golden Age Superman." So that's what I like about it. Um so 
Uh, let's talk about the art real quick. Jim, uh, Tim Sale's artwork is phenomenal as always, but then you have, you know, coloring by Brijan Hansen, who uh, does like the interior art in here along with Tim Sale. And he does the, he's, excuse me, uh, Hansen is the colorist. And I want to show like one great, like, look at the colors in here. Like, look at the colors in this image. And also, like, just even like normal stuff. Like, there's some great two page spreads in here that could work as posters in of themselves for any comic book fan. Like, you could hang, like, this is shit you could hang on your wall. I mean, look at that. Like, any one of these, like, I could, like, I could take one of these images of Superman out of here and put it on my wall as a full-blown poster. Or even, like, just this image of Metropolis. Look at, look how well Hansen and Sale's artwork comes together for these images. And not only that, like, how Hansen uses, like, the shades of color um, for just this image alone of Clark and his father looking at, out at the sky. Like, out, like, it's astonishing of how goddamn good the artwork is in here. So, yeah. This is a great story, because it deals with, super, like, Superman being the man. You know, being taking the man part of Superman. Even though this is a guy who could burn the whole world if he want, down if he wanted to, but, like, at the same time, he's like, yeah, but I'm scared of what might happen. I'm still scared. Like, this is still a Superman that is trying to find his place out in the world. Like, this is a Superman that is trying to be one of us. You know, be a human being. And, you know, but he's already, like, he's already got the truth, justice, and American way da parts down uh, already. But he's still trying to figure out where he stand. you know, wh how far can he go as Superman in this story. That's the really cool part in here. Um... But yeah, I I highly recommend this book, guys. I really 100% wholeheartedly uh, love this book. And I think if you're a Superman fan, you should go out and check this out. If you haven't found it already, I know this comic has actually been out for years. I'm well aware that this is this is not a new comic, guys. Uh, Superman for All Seasons has is not a new comic, but at the same time, like, if you haven't read it yet, I highly recommend it. It's one of those comics where even if you're not a Superman fan, it's really a good, like, um... It's even, like, just a good story. Like, it's just a, got, about a guy who is this godlike being, but he, you know, it's told through the perspectives of all the pe of the people who know him best and how they feel about it. Um... Yeah. I just can't stop gushing over this book. Although, it does suck that Jeff Loeb is, piece of, is a piece of shit. But, it's, it, you really, it's really hard, and, I, and I'm not the right person to talk about, you know, dissociating from the, the artist from the art. I'm not the right person, nor do I have the skills to do it. But, if you just overlook the Jeff Loeb being a piece of shit part, um, I would still recommend this book highly recommend this book. Again, this is it's Loeb and Sale. Whenever you see Loeb and Sale together, it's usually a uh, knockout out of the park. Um, if you don't know Jim, uh, Jeff Loeb, then uh, you'll probably like Tim Sale. I've actually met him uh, once or twice at conventions, and he's a very nice man. In fact, he actually signed... I don't want to pull it out because it's just a pain in the ass to do so. He actually signed my copy of uh, Long Halloween, which uh, was really cool. But anyway, so, if you've read Superman 4 all seasons, uh, what'd you guys think of it? Do you guys like it, hate it? And, um, again, highly recommend this book. But, yeah, anyway, once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.